uh, participant, uh, CA Preeti Nagi. Please start. Uh, very good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I like to thank the ICA committee for giving me the opportunity to present my use case at the semifinals. My automation is related to automation of old financial statements to the new format of financial statements of non-corporate entities. It's a much prominent topic nowadays and in every CEO office, Updation of the financial statement is the need of the hour and making the forms in a standardized format. Now it's a mandatory. So I try to reach the mass audience. I try to reach the mass chartered accountants so that they can make the automation in our office at their own and try to reduce the complexity in my presentation. And I'll try to give the live demo over here so that they will be able to adopt the automation in our offices live. Okay. Uh, moreover, I'm, the tools I'm using it, that is more of a very simplized manner, but it will help you to automate your task and reduce the time consumption and give us error-free financial statements that will help you to assist in the audit compliances and your automation. The tools I'm using over here is, first, basically Excel. Reason being is our financials are there in the Excel format only. Second, I'm using a VBA. I have tried it with the Python only, but I'm not going to demonstrate my case with the Python because I try to reach the mass chartered accountants. Those chartered accountants even, they and automate these things in our offices because this is the use case being uh, demanded by many of the chartered accountants because this automation, the transfer of the old format to the new format, it's my not my mandatory. Next, I use a chat GPT, chat GPT for debugging, for creating the macros and uh, the base structure and the correcting the utilities and using the macros, right? Now I'm going to show you the base formats the, where, that we are using in our offices. This is the all my balance sheet format that I'm using in my office. I have, I have, uh, I have uh, erased the name of my client plus my details also for of the firm because this is a hackathon. This is my balance sheet format as we are using in our office. This is in a horizontal format. This is my PNL account that we're using in our office. Plus, this is the format that is being issued by the for standardized format. This is a balance sheet format. See, this is in a vertical format. That is in a horizontal format that we are using. This is a standardized format issued by the ICAI and taken is mandatory. And these are the two formats. Now I'm going to one more sheet that I've created for my automation. And this is out of this only because I have tried to create it in an easy manner. So what I've done is I try to create a mapping. I have mapped each and everything. This mapping is much more important for all of us because if you're able to understand this mapping, we will be able to apply this automation in our office at our own also. No need to get a paid tool or anything. This will be able to apply in your offices. So first of all, the difference between the two balance sheet is in first, there is a difference of the name also. We are using in our normal balance sheet that is a partner's capital account, but in a new format that is being owned by the owner's capital account. So the names are also also different. Plus format is also different. That is being horizontal and the vertical format. The secured loans, the unsecured loan, that is the words are not there in a new format. The fixed assets that we are using in our, our old formats that is not there. So every name that we are using in our old format is in being replaced to a new name that being adopted by the private limited companies also. So now this is the mandatory format for us, right? So this is my first sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to automate my previous data to a new format. Plus I try to automate it for both for the both years. That means one for the year is that is 2024 and one will automate for 2025, right? I'll do for do for both of the years. For that, I have taken a very simple process. I go to the, my GPT. This is my prompt that I've used. Firstly, I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to my GPT. This is my GPT where I'm going to give a prompt. I'll read out the prompt for you so that it will assist you to manage it in an office also. The first my prompt is, first I've given the instruction to automate the column. Okay, uh, you might have seen in my mapping list, in my mapping list, I have seen that get the data from the source column that is D and after that, 
put the data in a source column that is E. And here in a prompt, I have given the instruction that is A is my this column, B is my this column, C is my this column, so that I will be able to map my sheets accordingly and in an easiest manner. So here, this is the prompt. A column is for old head name, B column is for new head name, C for old and D for this, right? And then after I have mapped the sheet related to the macros, then read the each row from my mapping sheet, detect the data and pull it from the data and place it in my new sheet. That is a mapping that I have done related to automation of my transfer of the entries from my old to new one. Till the time, I guess VBA code might have generated. This is a mapping. Yes, it have generated the code. Okay. Now just going to do that. I'm just going to copy the code. That's all. I'm just going to copy the code over here. Later on, we'll cross check. This is my old balance sheet. I'm going to close this. This is my new format. I'm also going to close this. This is my sheets, right? What I've done is this is my old balance sheet. That is a balance sheet of 2024. This is my balance sheet that I've maintained related to 2025. This is my balance sheet profit and loss account of 2024. And this is my profit and loss account that is related to 2025, right? And this is my new formats that I'm going to automate right over here. This is my new formats. So what I'm going to do is these formats I'm going to apply over here. Simple VBA code, nothing else. What I'm going to do is the creation of the VBA code of here, it might take time. Simply going to apply my code. Close the screen and come back to main, your window. Run the code and let's see it's able to map or not. This is my, firstly, I'm going to check the balance sheet. This is my old balance sheet and this is my new format. So these are the values uh, it has generated from my old plus new balance sheet. That is from the year 2024 plus year 2025. Plus I'm going to scroll down. It has mapped all the entries or not. Okay. The balance sheet total over here is... Uh, 20 crore 56,000, and that is related to 2024. Let me check it. It has automated or not. Okay. That is 20 crore 56,000, 15,367. That is correct. Now I'm going to year 2025. Year 2025 is 21 crore 43,000, 6,349. And uh, here, new format total is, okay, the total is same. Here, I'm going to asset side. Asset side, okay, here the total is different. Let me check the totals. Okay, the total is same. It was just the change of the formula over there. Total is same. It's 256, 2056 and 2056 over here. Now let me go through the profit and loss account. What is done to profit and loss account? In profit and loss account, these are entries are mapped from 2024 and 25. Here's my profit and loss account of 2024. Let me cross check with the, let me cross check with the uh, net profit only. Net profit, over here is 2024 and 2025. 2025 is 49.15, exactly. And old is, you can see it's matching. So I try to automate it simply with the process of the VBA code. Plus we can do automate with the Python also, but that will be a little bit complicated for the normal users, normal chartered accountants that are using in our offices because that is the prominent case nowadays because we are not able to map our 
previous form formats into the new formats. So this uh, taken care in a mapping sheet. And moreover, I try to automate the things in a very simplest manner, right? And plus it helps you to save 80% or 90% of the time and it will be valid for the both balance sheet profit and loss account. You can able to extend this also and it helps you to build the confidence, get the uh, data from error free. Moreover, as this is a hackathon and this is a semi-final also, I request you to please vote for me. My use case number is five and uh, let me vote for the five star rating because it's a use case number five plus it's five. Thank you so much, sir. I'm going to... Thank Stop you. My